Hello and welcome to the It's a Trap contest tour. Um, I'm so excited. <laughs> I really cannot wait to see these houses. So um, I've just arrived at the first one. Uh, this house is the Hall of the Lunar Champion by Dragon Slayer Davikin. And their note was a Kajiti tomb filled with traps and treasure and several dead treasure hunters. So I've got a feeling I'm probably going to die a lot tonight, but that's fine. I'm really excited to uh, have a look around these houses. So this is the Khajiit tomb. So there's lots of treasures in here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Oh wow, look at this! There is a trap! This is like in Skyrim with the big swinging knives. That's really cool. I love that. It's really creative. I don't think I've ever... <laughs> wow, it's like thunder. This kind of scared me a little bit. <laughs> Perfect weather for visiting this house. I love these! That's such a cool idea. I don't think I've ever seen anybody do anything like that before. Very cool. So I guess this is where some treasure hunters were cooking their food before they vanished. Oh yeah, look! <laughs> this guy's been this guy's been speared to the wall. He's got this treasure in his hand though. That's so funny. statues there. Oh look! Somebody's tried to break this open with a knife and completely broken it. <laughs> That's really cool. I love that. Yeah, that's such a cool little detail there. Oh, look at the little Jaboa. Ah, treasure. another dead treasure hunter. I've got the UI turned off, I don't know if I need to have it on for any reason, I'll have a look in a minute. Yeah, because I kind of want to look inside the tomb to see if there's something inside. Mummy cat! <laughs> there is a little treasure, look! This guy tried to get to the treasure and he's got a big spear through his head, let's get around there. <laughs> That's so funny, look at him. Wow. <laughs> That's great, it's even going through his jaw. That is awesome. This is really cool. So they have loads of traps. It's not like a trap that a visitor can get stuck in. It's more of like other people have been in here and they have encountered the traps. So we've got these big blades here. Obviously, this is where the treasure hunters were sleeping. Um, they managed to get through these blades. It looks like, oh, yeah, OK. So they managed to get stop the blades by jamming this with the knife, which is why the blades aren't moving. That makes sense. This uh, this guy over here has been stabbed with spears, which I'm guessing came from over there as well. <laughs> he did get his treasure, but he didn't manage to get out with it. Didn't get very far. And this guy is just amazing. He got spiked. He was really close to the treasure. So yeah, that is amazing. It's such a cool idea. There's somebody in here such a creative idea. I don't have EHT turned on, so I don't know how many item slots they've used in here. But using this small space for this, it's just incredible. It has such an impact. I love this. Really awesome.
Okay, so now we are at Blythe Spirit 1962's house, Mornoff Keep. And her description is, I assume it's a her, sorry if I've got that wrong. Um, a cursed treasure, a tattered map with barely legible writing. The old mansion on the hill seems to fit the bill. The scribbles seem to say something about a glowing switch. A hole in the map, hope nothing important is missing. Then more scribbles, a subtle difference is the key. Beware the doors, why? More to the point, where are the doors? Can our adventure find the treasure and escape, or escape at all? Okay, let's see, shall we? Very exciting. I've just gone out the front door, haven't I? <laughs> okay, go back in in a second. Sorry. No, now I've gone into my own monarchy. Right there. <laughs> I'm being an idiot. Okay. Okay, we're going to go through the right door this time. <laughs> wow, it's very sneaky in here. It's hard to see your way around, which is a very cool effect, actually. Really cool. I like that. It was a very clever idea. We've got some green mist here. I wonder where that's from. Is that from those totem things? The Halloween totems? I don't know. Oh, I know what they've done. I think they've used fog and they've put a green light under it. I could be wrong, but I'm guessing that's what they've done here. Really cool. It looks great very creepy <laughs> okay i have to remember to go back and close the doors i really hate it when people leave doors open it's like one of my like pet hates so i i will promise to close these doors after i finish oh look at that big giant spider he's rather menacing <laughs> he's coming where's he gone Okay, um, a glowing switch, a subtle difference is the key, beware the doors, or where are the doors? I want to see where the spider goes. Oh, that's so cool, he goes up there, that actually looked great, didn't it? What a cool idea. Okay, so we're looking for a glowing switch, and it freaks me out a little bit, that spider. <laughs> There's a door. Is it? No, it's a window. <laughs> is it? That is originally a door, isn't it? It's been blocked. So I'm not going mad. <laughs> I love that spider going up and down. Does that mean that there's, you can get up there though, if that spider's going up there, maybe we can get up there. Glowing switch. What is that other thing? The subtle difference is the key. Oh, this area looks a bit less well. I was going to say it looks a bit less creepy, but it's still got some kind of creepiness to it. Apologies, I've still got a bit of a cold, so I had the flu and it's not completely gone away yet. <laughs> Wasn't coronavirus. <laughs> it looks like maybe we can get up there. Can we? We can, but it's not the way. <laughs> oh look, she's got the new little house guest in here. Another explorer looking for where to go.
maybe we need to go down here. Let's have a look. Can we get through this hedge somewhere? No. <laughs> it's going to take me a while to figure this out, I think. Maybe we can just go through the front door. I don't think so. It's blocked, but... Maybe we can get around this wall somewhere. I love it. They've um, done an amazing job with the effect. Like, with the smoke that was all glowing and this as well, everything. Like, the effects they've used are really incredible. The fire here, how it's lighting up this guy's face. <laughs> makes me look really menacing when usually he doesn't. Okay. This is cool. <laughs> There's a lever over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're in. <laughs> you run to the lever and you end up falling down here. I love how they've done all of this in the garden as well because you always think of Mono Keep's garden isn't that huge really. Are we trapped forever now or can we get out of here? A wait there, a glowing switch. A hole in my home portion, the most scribble, the subtle difference is the key. Beware the doors, why? More to the point, where are the doors? Okay, so I think that might be what we're supposed to do, fall down here, and then we're in the trap. This is such a cool house, like it really leads you to explore it before you fall down here and become trapped forever. <laughs> really great, I love it, it's so great. I'm going to go back to the start quickly and have another little look around, make sure I didn't miss anything the first time. Yeah, these uh, the whole effects used in here are just incredible. I love them. I love the way this switch leads you to want to go there. And then you fall down. I wonder if you can get over it. No. <laughs> okay. I think we've seen all of this house. Really brilliant. Great job, Light Spirit. Really amazing house. So much fun. Okay, so now we're at number three. Jack the Great 666. Hall of the Lunar Champion. Welcome to the great imperial necropolis of RK. As accessed upon high through the moon gates of elsewhere for all of your imperial noble burials, blessings and undead slaying needs. We hope that you marvel at the necropolis's impressive temple, structures and amenities in service to our divine lord. Whatever you do upon your visit, do not touch the forbidden treasure dedicated to the god of life and death. So, here we are. Jack does love his Imperials. <laughs> so we have a nice statue. I'm using this just to see if there's anything hidden in there. So at least some people do hide stuff in there, don't they? They haven't. He hasn't hidden anything in there. Okay. I'm guessing that's where we've got to go <laughs> through the moon gate. This is very cool. I love how it's hidden there, in the moon gate. Like, people find such creative ways of hiding those portals. Oh. We've got a little burial ground here. This poor Khajiit is mourning somebody. I really love how he's put these little statues um, on the gravestones. That's a very cool idea. 
He's done it over here as well. That's a very nice idea. I like that a lot. Okay, up we go. Don't know which way to go first. <laughs> we'll, we'll save the inside for last. We'll go around the edge. Oh, look at the little stables. That's cute. That is really cute. I like the stables a lot. Ah, oh, Blight Spirit, I forgot to close your doors. I'm as bad as people I get annoyed with for not closing mine. I'm so sorry. Sorry, having a coughing fit over here. <laughs> um, this is why I didn't stream it today. And I was worried about... Um, technical issues but also yeah I'm kind of dying a little bit <laughs> don't want to be coughing all over everybody um yeah this is so cool I love the use of the uh busts these are really nice the planters this is a really pretty area okay It is really pretty. I love these planters and all the greenery here. It's really nice. This is great. Look how neat it is. <laughs> Wonderful. Sorry, I'm really struggling with my cough coughing fits at the moment. Okay. A little door here. Oh my god, is he like selling coffins? He is, he's an undertaker, I think. He's got some crafting stations, very useful undertaker he is. <laughs> it's pretty great. I have to say, I've never seen a coffin seller in the game before. <laughs> it's great. My dog drinking very loudly. You may be able to hear her. There's another door here. Oh my god, look at the skull in this statue's face. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I know she's holding a uh, sickle. Ooh, I'm going to have to go take some tablets in a minute, I think. Okay. And here we have the woodworking, the dye station, and the clothier, and the blacksmith, and the jewellery. We've got all of the crafting stations here. <laughs> Very handy. I love all of these pillars everywhere. They look great. This is interesting. So here we have, like, is it a meeting room of some sort? I think that's what I assume. There's more to it as well. This is insanely big. a nice little seating area here and the cooking fire sorry I'm struggling so much right now with my cold <laughs> to this door it hasn't actually been that bad I think it's because I'm like talking a lot so I'm guessing this is the kitchen a very little small cooking area at least 
I love how he's done these windows, they're very cool. And the view is great, obviously. This place has an amazing view. Okay, we've got stairs here too. Let's see what's up the top. Oh, so it's like a sleeping area. I'm wondering if this is some kind of monastery or like church because of the meeting area or maybe it's like barracks for some kind of army. I'll have to reread the uh, noise. We've got a nice toilet and a sink. You turn the sink on and off. Yeah, it's very cool. <laughs> Bath heated up nicely. We've got a little dressing area. Very cool. Really like that. Okay. I'm assuming that's what this is. Wait there, let's see if there are any clues. We've got a shrine here. So it could be a religious thing or it could be an army thing. I'm not quite sure which it is, but I'm thinking more, maybe more along the lines of an army thing. It's giving me more of that vibe, although we've got all the trophies on the wall, but then we've also got this. So I'm not really sure. Sorry, Jack. <laughs> it's one or the other, I think. Maybe I'm completely wrong and it's something totally different. I really like the use of the tablets out here as well. Very cool. It's got some nice cool statues again. More of the busts. And we can go around here to this side. Well, actually we can't because we've reached the end. Well you can, that's quite cool. So he's literally built right to the area where we can go which is really cool. There's another door here. Okay, let's go the back way first, shall we? Got a burial chamber. Can't close the door. It's still got UI tip though. <laughs> I'm guessing some of the importance buried here. What does it say again? Um, Imperial noble burials, blessings, and undead slain means. So I'm guessing it was like a religious bit thing. Although it also says the temple. Do not touch the forbidden treasure. That must be the forbidden treasure. Okay, so yeah, this is more of a churchy place. Here. That looks great there. That's the bottom of something he's used there in front of the statue. It just looks really good. Yeah, I love the use of the statues in here, it's great. Poor goat to the sacrifice. <coughs> Looks like there have been lots of other previous sacrifices too, maybe a bear or two and some small children. <laughs> okay. If we go to that treasure, something bad's going to happen, isn't it? I know. Okay. And... Are we trapped by slaughter? Look at all of these bones! That's so funny. Look at all of these bones and skeletons in here. That is great. <laughs> you killed me, Jack. I kind of was expecting that, honestly.
Okay, so house number five is by A. Laura, and it's the Gardner Estate. And the um, the description she gave is actually a note, which she has put so much effort in. It's such a pretty cute note. So I'm going to read it to you. I'll just open it on here. And I'm actually going to put the note um, in the video so you can see what it looks like because I just thought it was like so cute how she's actually gone through the effort of making the note as well. Okay, so this is the note. Dear Alara, I might have found it finally, the font of Oriel. I remember stories from my childhood. Legends say that he who imbues his weapon with the light of Oriel shall receive a power no army would resist. Then why haven't we heard of such a person? I would always ask. And I was told the font would also gift infinite wisdom, so its power wouldn't be used lightly. Intriguing, isn't it? The fountain is supposedly located in Grotwood, near Goroner Estate. I guess it's worth a look. Your friend, Gabrielle Benili. So, we are going to go and see if we can find the font of Oriel, I guess. So here we are. Really beautiful entrance a little chest there. I don't know what's of significance or not so I'm just looking at everything. Might have some kind of clue as to what is going on. This is so pretty. I love all of the plants. I'm a bit of a sucker for a cave as well. <laughs> It's beautiful. Look at the waterfall up there. Really pretty. Up this is so pretty. I love all of the lights here. It's not even night time, but they still make such an impact. I imagine if you came here at night, it would be even more like bright with all of these lights. This one's glowing. It's like a thieves trove, isn't it? That is so cool. I love that. There's lots of like bags around here. Like maybe they were people that have gone missing. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's that kind of house. Lots of treasure stashed over here. <laughs> this is so beautiful. Look how pretty the whole place is. Just gorgeous. This person is amazing when it comes to the plants. Sorry, I'm having a cough again. <laughs> um, yeah, everything just looks so natural here. They've used all of these like plants with lights, but they don't look out of place. They look beautiful. That mushroom looks incredible with the lights inside it. I love how that chest looks like a thieves trophy over there. <laughs> Someone's been sleeping here. Very nice place to sleep, actually. Beautiful. Oh, they've got the nebula. Another chest. There is a lot of treasure around this place. There's a book here. A life and strife of struggle. So this must be the font of Oriel. Ooh! <laughs> okay! So that was the trap. We were so excited to find the font of Oriel, we rushed over there and fell into a trap. Oh look, I love this! There's like a skeleton coming out of the uh, 
spider egg there, that's very cool. The Temptation Bottle, I've got a scorpion here. So it's gone from like being so pretty to incredibly creepy. Yeah, the spider's been busy eating a lot of people look at that. There's like a little bit of a head sticking out of that egg. Oh, it's very cool. The switch up there. Where's the switch for? I'm really having trouble tonight. I've already said that when it comes to uh, my cough. Oh, look at that skeleton as well. So I guess this is the trap. So lots of people haven't made it to the font of Oriel because they've fallen into this trap. I wonder if there's a way to get over the trap. Shall we try again? By the way, I just before we try again, I've got to say, oh, look at the plant up there. This is really, really great how it goes. Oh my god, look. That is so funny. Lots of people have been eaten down here. The whole thing just looks fabulous. I love that. I'm going to see if we can get over the trap. And I'm going to try not to have a coughing fit whilst we do. Okay. So it was around here somewhere. It's a shame I'm not my sorcerer really, so I can bolt escape over it. We're gonna have to try and jump it. We made it! It's the book of here, magic from the sky. Yeah, this is really cool. Really beautiful. It's just great how it's so pretty and nice up here. And then you fall down into the trap. And it's just like horrid down here. There's <laughs> death everywhere. I love it. The contrast between up there and down here is great. And yet it still has like a really natural feel, but it just feels so eerie down here compared to up there where it just feels so kind of pretty. Yeah, it's great. Absolutely wonderful job, eh, Laura? Love this house. Beautiful. Okay, so we're at house number six, which is by Can't Fix It, and the house is Cold Harbour. And their description, it's a trap. Now see how many times you get eaten, die, get eaten, go around in circles, or get eaten before you make it out. Enjoy. So... This sounds like it's probably going to be a bit of a death trap. Um, <laughs> it looks like we could go that way or this way. I guess we're going to go this way first. Because there's less this way, isn't there? I think. <laughs> I don't know what they've done with this place. So in here we have an empty greenhouse. I don't want to fall down there because we probably won't be able to get back up again. Um, this guy looks like he's having a bad time with it. <laughs> Ooh, I say. This guy's having a bad time with it too. <laughs> he's like a scarecrow, but like a robot scarecrow. Yeah, the clock looks kind of random there, but there's something kind of creepy about this clock just there, counting down the time. It's definitely quite effective, just like there. Oh, hello Nazima, or Nazime, however you say your name. 
she's going to have a little look at it as well. What do you make of it? Yes, the clock. Something very eerie about that clock. <laughs> okay, I don't think we're supposed to go in that one. Let's go this way. There's like a prayer stall here. Hall of Mirrors. Wow, they have used a lot of mirrors. Like, I can't even imagine how many, how much gold it costs them to craft this many mirrors. Oh my goodness. Look at the demon chicken in there, just running around. Which way should we go? Well, it's a maze again. I, th I feel like it's a maze again. <laughs> There's like little things running around there through the gates. That's kind of terrifying. Look, there's that chicken again. There's like a demonic camel chasing him. <laughs> it's great. Another mirror. Ooh. Dude looks pretty intimidating to me. Can't go any further. <laughs> this is super creepy, but I love it. I love how there's things to see through the gates as well. This bannequin's just like walking around out there. Okay, let's follow the Hall of Mirrors. That was the way we came from, wasn't it? Let's look this way. Okay, <laughs> that chicken. It's just like sprinting around in there. Oh, there goes Nazuma again. Very creepy car through there. Do you know what? The whole sound effects as well in Cold Harbor just add to this. <laughs> Something just ran past out there as well. I love, yeah, how there's just like views through these. Look, there's like a spider. <laughs> Look at it. It's so funny. It's running around all over the place. Lady, what is she the outlaw merchant? That's great. Oh dear, this guy perished. Wait there one second. Is it chat? How many times do you get eaten, die, get eaten, go round in circles or get eaten before we make it out? Okay, so we're gonna have to try and get out of here. Oh, no, that's the way we came from. Okay, let's see, how can we get out of here? we get through there? No. Oh! No, that's where we came from, isn't it? There are two ways here. I'm gonna go this way. Oh, and now we've got two ways again. There's something over here. It's a frosty boy. Not the right way. Big golden ball over there. Look! There's a little watcher flying around. He's so cute. I love them. Look at them. They're so cute. I love those tiny watches. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> I think I just saw Nazima running around again. Got some soul gems over here. This is very creepy. There's an alien beings over here. <laughs> That's where the ball is. It is like an alien. Okay.
I've got another way to say. Looks like somebody wished for something bad over here <laughs> with a teeny lamp. Okay. I don't know which way to go. The stalk. I kind of happy they've got these things like that, like the stalk, because it kind of I guess helps you remember which way you've been. What? We navigated through these funny little weavy things and there was nothing there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Potion bottle, poison bottle rather. Another mirror. There's lots of mirrors in this place. Very creepy. Oh, there's a light over there. Does this mean we've won? Have we won? Ooh. Win! We won! That was great! I love that. That was so much fun. And I love how they've written the word win here. Beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> she's holding the thing. That was great. I like that treasure. And we won cake. Very nice. <laughs> oh, this is great. This was really well done. I very much enjoyed that. I like the fact that it was not in your maze, but there were all of these really cool little details. Like they seem random, but there's something kind of creepy about. Like, oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, that is definitely creepy. There's something kind of creepy about like just these randomly placed objects around the place, I feel. I really like that touch. Like this stalk, like... I don't know, there's just something like, you know, it's out of place and I think that when something's really out of place it kind of makes it feel a bit more daunting, I guess. I don't know what the right word is, but yeah. I love this. This is great. It's very simple, but I don't know. I feel like there's lots of symbolism in here. And there's something to see wherever you go. There's something interesting to look at, which is a good plus. I like that a lot. So yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thank you very much for the fun. I uh, can't fix it. I really enjoyed that house a lot. Okay, so now we're at Tim 99's house, Colossal Ad Mary Grotto. Um, I've actually been here before, so I kind of knew what the trap is. <laughs> we'll look around the house. So, let's have a little look around. So we've got this very menacing looking guy here. <laughs> Nazima is having a little stroll again, that noise. We got a lot of trophies. In the trophy room, very nice. He has a lot of trophies. We have a table of different skulls. He's seen up here. have a lot of crafting stations. Like a lot. Going all the way down here. We <laughs> also have a spaceship up there in the sky. Which is actually pretty cool. <laughs> um we have the bell over there. Oh wow. Okay. I love this. Oh, I love this. I need to get that. 
love it it's just beautiful isn't that beautiful absolutely gorgeous i need that in my life okay oh to bella right <laughs> wow these are so creative though yeah yeah they're so creepy but look at it they are really creative <laughs> these are going in things like laughing they are so creative like yeah they're creepy as hell but aren't they creative like the way they are they just are incredibly creative <laughs> This guy, what's he made out of? He's made out of meat and bread. A little, uh, he's got like flagged in there, is it? <laughs> yeah, he, he's pretty cool. He's got a lot of gold for looking so fancy. <laughs> yeah, they are scary and like, what the fuck, but they're very creative. This guy was so entertained, he ended up just like burning to death with his alcohol. He was so excited. Right. What else have we got over here? We've got a chest. We got some moon sugar growing, of course. We have the fire breathing dragon up there. We also have the dragon skeleton at that here. <laughs> oh, we got the Munda stones on a nice little island. Very pretty. <laughs> I like the statue. Very glowy. Munda stones up there. Okay, I know for a fact that this is the trap. Because I've been trapped by this before. When I went to try and put that old Mary Dominion flag. And I don't have my saucer at this time, but even when I did, I couldn't put it out anyway. I know full well what's going to happen if I try and get over there. Well, yeah. I didn't die. But I am stuck in a box. What? I'm stuck in a box. I'm not dead, though. I'm just trapped. How? How am I trapped? I don't understand. I don't know how I'm trapped. I'm really confused. Right. <laughs> What's on the side of that? Right there. Let's have a look, shall we? What is on the side of that? It doesn't look like anything. What is that item? Now I'm dead trying to figure out what it is. <laughs> oh my word. What the hell? Right. <laughs> We're, all right, we're not going to figure out what it is. We're just going to have a look around the rest of the house. Oh, but I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. Oh, fuck. Shit, man. <laughs> okay, we're going to leave that. We're going to leave that. Okay. <laughs> 
we've got a nice little crafting area. I like this in the shed, a little live station, very pretty. We've got a very creepy looking dude there. Let's go back over here and stay away from that god of a trap which is confusing the shit out of me. I don't know what's going on but I'm not even going to try and look anymore. I like how the statue's fallen over here, that's cool. We've got some nice treasure. Let's have a little look around here. Got a huge keg. There's some burning man stuck in there. <laughs> There's a monkey eating a dead person. There's a very creepy guy. This is pretty. I love this. It's such a pretty effect. I love that. And all, it, all of his antiquities are very nice. I didn't actually have this one yet. I need to get that. Yeah, these are very cool. Really cool little place to keep them all. I didn't have this shine yet either. Very pretty. What else do we have? Oh, that's cool. That's from the uh, window. It's going through the wall and lighting up the water, which is actually beautiful. Love that effect. Really nice. Moon pool. Got some creepy tree over here. And then over here. Have the woolen drunk. Some target dummies. Got that vampire thing. It looks different though. Oh, it's the statues where you can change the colour. Okay. Keep looking around here. <laughs> Got this poor tortured Kaji. I'm really confused by what is actually I don't really know. I'm confused. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, we've got a uh, carousel, but it's kind of scary. <laughs> Got a very creepy carousel up here. I just noticed there's like an army of men down there on the boat. We didn't look on that side of the boat. We'll have to go and have a look in a minute. I got a danger of vomiting blood there. We can't go up any further. But let's go and have a look at that. Uh, will we die if we jump down? Oh, too late. No, we didn't. Nice. I don't know why that took so long. Yes, we've got a... Look how perfectly placed they are! How? That's got to be the HT, surely. Look at them, they're so perfectly placed. Like a little cube of robots. Yeah, it's very cool. He has some 
really cool little aspect here. He has the squirrel, I'm very jealous. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the trap I'm so confused by. I don't know how. Like it didn't even kill me until I went to have a check it out and see what was going on. <laughs> but yeah, really great house, Tim. Very unique. <laughs> Thank you for sharing it. Okay, so we're at number eight uh, by New Insist, uh, Moon Sugar Meadow, and their description is, it has one big hidden room, one smaller, and a tiny hidden spot. It should be found with some curiosity and jumping. So let's have a look. We're at Moon Sugar Meadow. I wonder whereabouts it be. There's a light over there, so I'm guessing it's over there. Maybe that's one of the rooms. There's some stairs. Exciting. In fact, there's like a mountain. They've built like a mountain. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that, how loud the sound is over there. Something like... There's like an eerie sound around here. <laughs> this is a really cool little area. I love the path markers along the way. I'm making sure I haven't missed anything. I think we're going down here. <gasps> oh, okay, we fell into the trap. Kind of. Wow. This is kind of creepy, isn't it? I guess the only way we have to go is down now. We fell down like a well. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Am I gonna die? I didn't. I survived. Oh, okay. No, I didn't. I got you in my salt bitch. Okay. There's some stairs over there, though. But I'm not sure that's the way we're supposed to go. Wait right there. Let's get back to the beginning. <laughs> I don't want to skip anything, so let's go back. We'll go back to where we were before and carry on up. Because, yeah, I don't want to skip stuff. Back up, back up. <laughs> So pretty. I love the lighting here, all green. The thing is, it's so small at the top. I can't imagine. Uh, there's a nebula there. I can't imagine this would be. Um, yeah, there's the stairs again. Okay. Maybe we're supposed to jump down there then. Oh god, here we go. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Can we can we save ourselves? We did, we saved ourselves. Okay. <laughs> wow, this is deadly as fuck. There's something in the water over there and I can't see what it is, but I don't wanna go in there. There's one of those like jellyfish things under the water. That is cool, I like that. Wow. This is beautiful. Wait there, let me put my fists away. <laughs> That's beautiful. Wow, that is so pretty. Those, um, let me turn the UI off. Those uh, nebulas are gorgeous. 
That is so pretty. And with this fountain as well, with the light that it gives off, wow, it's so pretty. Really nice with the uh, gems in the fountain as well. Beautiful. And I love the reflection of the water on the top of this cave roof. The whole place just feels so magical. This is really beautiful. How many nebulas did they use here? That's a fair few. It looks like three maybe. Some stairs over here. Oh look, we've got a little crafting area. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's really cute. Got like a little hidden craft area back here. <gasps> so is that the medium room? Maybe the other room's on the other side. I love these uh the orbs. They look really cool like that, don't they? Such a magical feeling play. Ouch. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> I died. <laughs> Maybe we're not supposed to go this way after all. They look like you can go through the vines. Right there. There's some vines there. Yeah, you can go through the vines. Wow, this is beautiful. And there's like a witch's basin. I'm still being electrocuted. There's more nebulas here. This person has so many nebulas. I'm so <gasps> jealous. I didn't even have one nebula yet. <laughs> I need to get one because they're just gorgeous. Look at this. So pretty. It's beautiful. This whole place is beautiful. I'm scared to go back over there because I just keep getting electrocuted. It's beautiful. This place is really gorgeous. So pretty. It feels like so mystical and magical and just beautiful. I really love it. No, don't kill me. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I died again. <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> I love the jellyfish in the water down there. Yeah, this is such a pleasure to see. It's just beautiful. Thank you so much New and Sis for allowing us to see your beautiful house. It's incredibly beautiful. Even if I died several times not <laughs> looking around it. Okay, so we're at number nine, one of keep, uh, by Sorries, and this is a metaphorical trap. Wow. I don't know uh, if any of you guys haven't visited any of Sori's houses, you definitely should because she makes these like 2D pictures. This isn't really 2D, this is 3D. <laughs> this is like a proper sculpture of an amazing horse. But yeah, she makes like artwork, 2, 2D artwork out of uh, pieces of furniture and they're just incredible. But yeah, look at this horse, it's beautiful absolutely gorgeous really astounding I love that I'm not quite sure what's around it like we've got broken things everything's kind of fallen apart and broken around the horse um, we've got breaking carriage we've got spikes we've got a merchant's tent um, I'm trying to figure out what this could be. 
okay. So I actually employed the help of my friend Jack the Great um, to come and help me with this house because this house is the Trojan Horse, which I didn't actually know <laughs> the story of. I've heard of it. I kind of knew what it was. I don't really know the story of it, but Jack is a historian, so he told me all about this, and now I understand why this is a trap, so I'm so sorry, sorry. Um, I didn't understand it at first, but I do now, and it is amazing. Such a cool idea. The horse is incredible. I love how you've got the surroundings. I love how you've got this little area at the top and you so want to go up and have a look at it because it looks incredible, but you can't. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like a proper little war scene really here. And possibly there are people trapped inside the uh, horse. So that's absolutely brilliant. Uh, so cool. That horse is just blowing my mind right now. <laughs> just absolutely fabulous so thank you so much for sharing your beautiful house and your awesome horse with us okay so we're at number 10 hachiko chan uh hunter's glade and her description is dear alara i hope this missive finds you on a successful expedition and in good health I know for sure that the treasure we have been looking for for so long is in the middle of Hunter's Glade Forest. You will find an ancient Mayan temple here. I hope you will be able to retrieve the lost relic and carry it safely to the museum where it belongs. I wish you luck, your dear friend, Hachiko Chan. So, we are here. I may make this my last uh, visit for today and continue tomorrow because it's taken me literally hours so far because I do spend far too long in people's houses. I mean, I want to show everything, so that's why. So I'll probably continue the tour tomorrow after Hachiko's house, which is all well and good. I don't think she's done anything here. I think it's probably through the portal because she said uh, Hunter's Glade Forest. Hunter's Glade is literally my most favourite house in this game so I'm very excited to be here. Wow! Oh my lord, look at this guys! <gasps> that is absolutely fabulous. Okay, we're going to walk and turn off your eye. <laughs> You've got this little explorer, she's like looking for the way to go on her map. Where are we going? <laughs> I want to see where she goes. Let's wait for her to go ahead. This is really incredible. This looks like something out of another game, doesn't it? Got a leopard down there. The pathing is great in this game now. A really cool addition. She's very lost, this poor lady. <laughs> she doesn't know whether she should go in or not. She's like, is this the right place? It's looking rather foreboding. I'm not sure if I should go in there. This is great. This is like uh, Zanmir almost, isn't it? Beautiful. I just love the lighting in Hunter's Glade so much. This is really gorgeous. She did say that um, there's, I'm not going to die in this place, so that's good to know. Oh. But it felt like I was going to die with these spikes. <laughs> that is really cool. Look at all of these poor unfortunate souls that weren't quite as lucky. <laughs> oh, that's great. I love that. Look at the spikes on the spike. That's 
great. I love that. Yeah, this is amazingly awesome. Love this. These are so creepy. These are from that plant, aren't they? They look like snakes. It's like snakes coming out of there. Look at this guy. They, she's made him hold a torch. That is very cool. Just want to make sure I don't miss anything. People have had like sneaky little corners in this. I want to make sure I don't miss them. Oh, look at this, guys. They look almost like little eyes watching you, don't they? Oh, no, 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 no. excited there. I'm not very good at all of this parkour stuff. Maybe if I turn off walk it might help. Okay. Yeah, that helped a lot. Or not. <laughs> yeah, I would be terrible at parkour. We'll get there, we'll get there. We'll get there. We will. We will make it. There is a deadly plant over there. But it's not hurting me. <laughs> this is actually beautiful. This is incredible. Oh, look, we've got a bridging hot lava. But it's not really lava, it's leaves. But it looks like that is so creative. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> we almost didn't make it. Oh. I'm kind of scared. Wait. <laughs> no, no. Do you know? I'm so bad at this. It's not even funny. <laughs> right, let's try and cheat and get off that one. We can't. We can get up here, though. <laughs> that is an awesome idea. I love how she's made this bridge out of like shelves. It's like the Argonian shelves at the side and then the Breton shelves at the bottom. Really cool. Look at this. This is such a beautiful view. It's like creepy but it's beautiful at the same time. I think that's a really cool thing to achieve that is waterfall. <laughs> it's beautiful. Really beautiful. Can we get across there? Is that what I don't know if we're supposed to go across there or up here. Let's go up here first. Is it safe to walk across there? <laughs> I don't know if it is or not. No, we've fallen down. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> skeletons hands. That's so funny with their hands coming out like that. It's really creepy. <laughs> and this one's got their hands too. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this is <laughs> I love those hands. They're so funny. 
Okay, we're out, we're out. We can get out of prison. I'm kind of glad I fell because this is just beautiful. It's really beautiful. Look at this, guys. It's <laughs> so pretty. Really amazing. Yeah, dying was good. <laughs> well, you didn't die. Falling down the trap was good. back up. So I guess we're going to have to jump across. I don't think we're going to get over there to the treasure. <laughs> the treasure is booby trapped. Okay, I'm turning off the walk again because it makes jumping not as easy. There you go. Okay, so we're going to want to jump there. <laughs> Look at the views in this place. They're just incredible. Her Chica is so talented, honestly. If you guys are not subscribed to her channel yet, you really should. I will put a link in the description. There's a boat we can escape down there. <laughs> okay, so going down this way. So we have an escape. And this is the boat, and it's got the treasure on it too, which is very handy. And we can sail off into the distance <laughs> without stolen goods. This is so beautiful. Just want to look at it again because of you. I love the view from over here the best, straight there. <laughs> yeah, from here. With the waterfall and everything. So beautiful. So that's Hachiko's absolutely amazing, amazing house. Really, really incredible. I'm completely actually blown away by that. <laughs> okay, so it's the next morning. I'm sat here in my pyjamas with my morning coffee <laughs> um, because I just really couldn't wait to come and see the rest of the houses. Um, really excited to see them but it just got a bit too late last night so uh, yeah excuse my crazy hair but we're here to see the houses after all um, so we are at number 11 Lilith 4657 at Evan Hart Chateau so she has a description here which I'm going to read she said we could read it before or after it kind of explains what's in the house but we're going to read it before so this is what she wrote. My perception of anxiety is visible throughout this mind trap. I created an Ebenhart Chateau. As you first enter, you are confronted with the fact that time is scrambled. One of the first stages of anxiety for me, my perception of time alters. As you continue, you are then confronted with the main head structure, which has, which has different floors. The middle inside the head is where all the thoughts, information and memories are gathered represented by books and shelves, and those thoughts are slowly being corrupted by the bad thoughts anxiety brings. The top is the nebulous maze that your head can turn into when you are under severe stress. The trap underneath the main knowledge hall is anxiety at its worst stage. You feel trapped, stuck in a tiny space within your own mind, and you can't breathe, hence the underwater feel of it. Hopefully you will also notice the glimpse of hope I hid somewhere. So yeah, this is like a very deep house by the sound of things. It's a mind trap, which is really, really interesting. What a unique idea. So she said, when you first enter, when you, when you first enter, you're confronted with the fact that time is scrambled. Yeah, so we've got uh, a sand timer here and here. is great. I love this thing. 
I love how she's put all of that stuff in there as well. It's amazing. And the nebula is beautiful, as always. Like, it's just incredible, this nebula. I just love it. It just makes everything look so magical, doesn't it? What was she's Oh, these are sky shards, I think. That's a really cool effect, isn't it? is beautiful. Okay. Let me carry on. This is outside Evanhart Chateau. I've never really seen anybody doing things like this outside here. Really amazing. Are we supposed to, I'm going to carry on down here first, so do you want to miss anything? This is very cool. Yeah, it's very unique. I've never, never seen anybody do anything like this outside in Evanhart Chateau. There's lots of, uh, Broken pillars and statues and things out here. Okay, we'll go up this way, I think. Okay, oh look, this is see the head. That's brilliant. It's even got eyes. And that's his mind at the top. That is so cool. I love that. That is epic. Look at his face. It's brilliant. Okay, so this is part of the... Uh, the library she talked about. I don't think we can get to it this way, but this is a great way to have a look at that amazing head there, isn't it? Really cool. <laughs> I love that. That's brilliant. Okay, let's go around here. So we want to go up. island up there. Oh, here we go. So this is the... Oh! Okay, we fell, we fell down into the bottom too soon. This is so cool though, but I'm going to go back to the beginning because I don't think we were supposed to have gone there yet. I <laughs> don't want to do it in the wrong order. Okay, so we've got... The library or something, she said, didn't she? This is like... Um, main head structure which has different floors the middle inside the head is where the thoughts information and memories are gathered represented by books and shelves and those thoughts are slowly being corrupted by the bad book anxiety brings so I guess these blue vines are like the uh, corruption kind of making their way across all of the thoughts and memories that is so cool so symbolic I love that it's great it looks beautiful in there too <laughs> Very cool. Okay, we're going to go up before we go down because we fall into the trap there. I don't want to do it in the wrong order. <laughs> wow, this is... Amazing. So this is middle. It's like the trees are like the brain. says um, the top of the nebulous maze that your head can turn into when you are under severe stress that is really cool 
Thing. I love how the house is so meaningful. There's an island up there. Island. There it is. Oh, you can't quite get to it. Maybe that's the glimmer of hope she meant. There's like a nice island over there with pretty trees. But it's just out of reach. Okay. So let's have a look um, at the bottom. So we've fallen um, into the worst stage of anxiety where you feel trapped, stuck in a tiny space in your own mind and can't breathe, hence the underwater feel of it. So yeah, this is, it does make you feel very trapped, doesn't it? We're a monkey now. <laughs> um, yeah, this is really cool. Love this. Really amazing house. It's just like, yeah, it does. You feel very, very cramped in here, which is what you're supposed to feel. It's really brilliant. Like, the way that, um, she has really made this about a personal journey of her own and um, the way everything is so like symbolic I think is brilliant like she's used symbolism to show feelings so well here and it's brilliant of like so much thought and care has gone into this house you can really see it and it's beautiful really wonderful thank you ever so much Lily for entering this contest it was such a pleasure to see this place really wonderful okay so we're at number 12 Silvervin Stainwise Mansion and uh, there's no description so we're going to explore and trying to figure it out ourselves which is very exciting um it's very Argonian this looks like a really cool jungle doesn't it very jungly can't even see the house I don't know where the house is very Argonian feeling <laughs> we've got some Argonian totems here it's kind of a creepy feel to it <laughs> I can't really put my finger on it it's uh really cool it's a very very natural feeling he <laughs> got some nice little lizard creature it's very cute yeah this does just feel very natural doesn't it great it really does feel like you're in a jungle lost in a jungle as well like you don't really know there's no pathway so you kind of uh feel like you're a bit lost in the jungle here yeah, it's a great i like all of the bugs and insects oh yes i knew there was something creepy going on look at this <laughs> there's a skull in the tree And there's like a guy up there looking very menacing watching over us all. My word. Yes, there's definitely something ominous going on here. 
this explorer lady's here lost. I think you should get out, lady. I think there's something bad going on here. <laughs> I think you should leave. There's a guy out there watching us. Okay. There's like a cage trap here. With something in it. Oh! Okay, we've fallen into a trap. <gasps> and there are some poor bunnies that have fallen into the trap down here. <laughs> They're all impaled. And a goat. Oh wow, look. I don't know what they're called. I can't remember what they're called. Those effects of the black smoke. They're everywhere. It's really, really cool. This beast is actually terrifying. What a creepy looking creature. <laughs> Scary. Okay, so fallen into a trap. All these poor animals have been impaled. It looks like some of them did survive but they were eaten by a spider or possibly eaten by these rabid beasts down here as well. It's a very creepy pond. Yeah, there's definitely something ominous going on down here. There's like an altar. Something strange is happening down here. I'm not quite sure what it is. Okay, yeah, there's like a witch's kitchen here. Um, She's been cooking something up. Looks like a person. <laughs> a cannibalistic witch. She's been grinding up bones and blood and all sorts in this thing. Yeah, there's something very fishy going on here. For sure. Where she's been keeping people trapped. Or it might not even be a witch. Maybe it's that creepy dude standing up there watching over everybody, waiting for the people to fall into his trap. The door here. Ooh. So there's treasure here. Nobody has taken the treasure, probably because they're all dead. Okay, let's go up. I love this, the way people use these doors in such creative ways. Amazing. Okay. So, this is a kind of really normal looking house. So far. <laughs> Very cute. Oh, okay. Outside is a bit creepy. <laughs> they live with a graveyard outside of there bedroom window. They've just sat down to eat. So this is like a really normal house but the basement is not. Yes, what do you make of this woman? She's still lost. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know if it's just me, but there is something quite creepy about wells. <laughs> I used to have one in my garden in my old house, and I always found it really creepy. I don't really know why, but I do feel like there's something a bit creepy about a well. Okay, we're not going to fall for that trap again. <laughs> so, I'm trying to figure this out. There's got to be a story involved here. I mean, the trap and the house are beautiful. So. There's that dude up there. He's watching for the trap, isn't he? Waiting for people to fall in. So it must be his trap. Wait there. We will fall for the trap again. <laughs> okay. So anything that falls through this trap either gets impaled or if they don't, probably get eaten by the beasts or the spiders or the witch 
cooks them. <laughs> or uses their bones. She had some people in cages, so maybe she wanted to keep them alive for some reason. I don't know why I keep saying she, I'm pretty sure it's that beast outside that lives here. <laughs> well, then you've got like, the treasure here. Oh, I didn't quite make it. I'm trying to close the door behind me, but... There we go. <laughs> yeah, we've got the treasure here. Hidden down in the basement. So I guess people don't make it to the treasure. Although there is some on the floor here, but maybe that's why they were carrying it down. So maybe they live in this house and it's like so normal and nobody suspects a thing. But down in the basement there's like the depths of hell down there. <laughs> or maybe some nice family lived here and they're now buried out there. Because they never... Maybe, maybe this beast came, killed the people that live in this house, buried them in the garden. <laughs> and it's now using the basement for his devilish desires. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but there's so many possibilities of what the meaning could be of this house, but that makes it wonderful in my opinion. <laughs> like, you could really just uh, tell a million stories about the meaning of this place. It's really brilliant. There is definitely some witchcraft going on up here, that is for sure. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this is so much fun to visit. This is great, this whole house. I love the fact that it could tell a million different stories. So many different things could be going on here and that makes it really special. It feels great, the jungle feel is so authentic, I love it. And the trap is really great and like a big mystery in itself, so so much fun. Thank you so much Silverbin for sharing this house. It's really, really fun. Okay, so we're at number 13 on the NA server now. Uh, Contender, Hunding's Palatial Hall. And his description is, My wine and cheese trap is between the stables and the kin lady statue holding the blue abyssal basketball. So, Let's have a look. Why don't you right between the stables and the kin lady statue holding the blue prison basketball? Okay, we'll have a look around first. Very cool, these statues have such an impact there, don't they? Got that creepy dude again. He's been getting around these houses for sure. This is a nice little crafting area. We've got a banker. Crafting tables. And a merchant. So cute. <laughs> okay, let's see. Wow, the lighting in here is so cosy. A really cosy feeling house already. Nice place to sit by the fire. I see a dragon over there guarding the treasure. <laughs> That's so cool. I've got dragons guarding the treasure. Very nice. Nobody's going to be messing with him, that's for sure. Oh, they've got that really cute new music box. I love that. Very cute. I just love it. So cute. Got a kitchen. Very nice. A very nice, well stocked kitchen. Another nice cozy fire. Have a look on the other side before we go upstairs. 
little dining area with some cookies and beer. Provisioning station. It's a very handy house. I'm sure this probably must be their main house with all of their crafting stuff. Very convenient. Okay, let's go upstairs. Ah, oh, they've got the wolf pet. I love that. I love this wolf. <laughs> it reminds me of my dog. Got a nice dressing table. Someone's been writing a letter over here. Nice bath. In bed, very cozy. I love this bed. It's very nice. Okay. And on the other side, we've got a lovely view down there. The Wolfie's down there. <laughs> so we've got another bed over here. Very nice. It's a very cozy house. We really want to be going out the other side, don't we? Around the back. Okay, let's go through this door. Can't get through the door for some reason. Okay, let's try the other one. <laughs> there we go, this one's working. Strange you can't get through that door. There's the stables. They said the stables and the uh, statue holding the basketball. I wonder if I'll die if I jump. No. Not family. Oh, okay. We've got a ladder here. Where's this leading to? The roof. Very nice. There is so much space up here on the roof, isn't there? I mean, you could literally build a whole garden up here or whatever. You could just build on the roof. Okay. Pirate flag. Oh look! That is cool! Looks like they're sea monsters. That is really cool. I like that. I'm pretty sure if I swim over there I'd die though, wouldn't I? From this lot of fish. <laughs> oh, this is nice. I like this. Really cozy little area. Love the use of the log here. A little raft. I'm reading a book. Songs of Polineal, Volume 8. What is that out there? Will I die if I go and have a look at it? It's a little mermaid! That is cute! I love that! That is cute that there's a mermaid out there. That's a really cool little detail. Okay. It's a light over there, like a lighthouse. Okay, there's the lady with the abyssal basketball. Must be. It's gotta be her. <laughs> and there are the stables. The, the wine and cheese trap's gotta be around here. Okay. I see. So it's like a giant mouse trap. So you come up here because you want the wine and cheese and snap. <laughs> That's great. Like a human sized mouse trap with the wine and the cheese. That is amazing. I love that. Very cool. Very funny. <laughs> That's great. Okay. So look at the stables. 
Very nice. I love that idea. Wait there, I'm going to go and have a look at it again. That is such a unique idea. So it's like kind of partially hidden as well, so you wouldn't suspect a thing. You'd be like, oh, nice. You might notice there's something a bit fishy going on if you look closer. <laughs> it's a shame that we don't have like proper animations so that you could get it to actually work when I go in the end snap my head off. Yeah, that's great. Really cool job, Contendo. Brilliant. Your whole house is really brilliant. You've got lots of really cool little details everywhere and the trap is really good and really funny. It really made me laugh, so thank you very much for sharing that with us. It's great. Okay, we're at number 14, Quekweg, Hall of the Lunar Champion. And the description is, follow the white cat, then the lion cub. And then when you get to the mad scientist lab, you have a decision to make. Goal get to his real safe. You may need to wait a few seconds for animal paths to cycle. There are six traps in total. Look for arrows pointing the way. You might have to crouch to see better and or jump a few times. F5 gets you out of the course but does not preserve your progress. <laughs> so yeah that's great. I'm going to keep that here in case I need to refer back to it. Okay. Let's go for it, this is exciting. I'm kind of scared and I don't know why. <laughs> There's the white cat, there's the white cat, we've got to follow the white cat. There she goes. Okay, it's gone up there. <laughs> How do we get out there? Can we jump up there? I think my character's too short to get up. <laughs> okay, I finally think I figured out how to get up there um, after some <laughs> running around in circles. So I noticed there's this little area here. So then we can follow the cat. So yes, I got there in the end. Oh, but now I've fallen down. Are we supposed to go this way? There's some bananas here. Why are there bananas on the floor? Oh, he said arrows. So this way? Maybe? I'm being really slow, aren't I? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna really restart from the beginning. Okay. So we gotta remember there's a hole in the hedge. <laughs> Where was the hole though? Maybe if we walk on here we won't get caught, will we? No, we'll get caught no matter what. I think this is narrow. We're back out here. These are definitely an arrow. Yes, they were pointing the way up. Okay, I get that now. But if we go down there, we're going to fall. So what if we Oh, the cat stays really close to the wall. Yes, okay. Okay, we'll wait for the cat again. <laughs> After we followed the cat, we need to follow the lion cub. We'll wait for the cat to come back around because I don't want to fall down again. It looks like there's a chance I will. Come on, cat. Here he comes. <laughs> He's going to show us the way. We can't go. Oh no! But there's a thing going back up. <laughs> I'm going to wait for him again. I saw him. Did he go up here? 
to wait and see. <laughs> this is really funny. I'm genuinely like scared to walk anywhere. Go on, kitty. Here he comes. Oh, that doesn't look good though. I'll be trapped if I go down there, won't I? I don't think I've got a choice though. Yeah, I'm trapped now. Can I jump out of here? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Why the hell did I even come down here? I knew I was going to get trapped. Oh look, we can come back up, I think. Oh, I see, I see. We're supposed to do that, and then... Okay, very clever. <laughs> do we go through the portal? This is exciting, I don't know what to expect. Okay, yeah, we're going up. Oh, this is a rug, and I know that I'm going to probably fall. Aren't I? I'm going to fall down into this rug if I walk forwards. <laughs> I'm going to fall, I know it. Alright, here we go. Never trust a rug in this game. Never. I never trust a rug. <laughs> that <was> very clever. <laughs> okay, there's the cub, there's the cub. Run, run, run. Where's he gone? He's gone up here. Okay, so you think go that way. Is it going that way? And then what? After that, when you get to the mad scientist lab, is that that the mad scientist lab? It looks like it's got to be, doesn't it? Okay, so we need to go up. I think. <laughs> I'm so confused. Alright, I don't know. Which way to go? There's an arrow, there's an arrow, there's an arrow! This is the way, this is the way! Okay. So we need to get over this. Oh no, I've fallen again. Okay. We need to close that. That's what's making us fall. Okay. <laughs> Right, we've closed it, but now we can't get through because it's too low. So how do we get there? I don't know how to get there. It's something to do with those gates, isn't it? We can't get through is the problem.
Look, I'm not all the way down. <gasps> yes, we figured it out. I feel so clever right now. <laughs> okay. It's only taken me like forever to figure out this house. It's really fun though. I love that you have to figure it all out. Okay, and then it said... When you get to the mad scientist's lab, you have a decision to make. Go, get to his real safe. Okay. Oh, there's a rug. <laughs> I feel very unsafe when I start seeing rugs. This one's not dangerous, but that one probably is. But there's a safe there. And there is there a safe here? How do we know which one is the real safe? That one is a storage chest. This one is actually a safe, isn't it? Right there. <laughs> this one is actually a safe. If I can get to it. So maybe this one is not a trap. But then what do you, why do I need to go to the safe? Yeah. I think I'm doomed. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get out of here. Yes, I died. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was not the right one. <laughs> This is so cool though, this lab, isn't it? Really creative, this is great. It looks fantastic. Really does. Oh, there's a cat going up here, let's follow it. <laughs> Yeah, this is brilliant. They've spent so long on this, you can tell. Well, not just like the building itself, but all of the traps, like... <laughs> I just died again, didn't I? Yes, lot of fish, you can eat me up, okay. Okay, so how would we do this then? How do we know where the real safe is? That's what I want to know. Right, we can't get any higher, so we're going to have to follow this. Oh, uh, it looks ominous over here though, doesn't it? God, I'm so bad at this, I'm probably going to fall off. <gasps> See, I told you! Oh my god, <laughs> we'll get there eventually. Right, we're going to have to try and walk across that stick. So probably best to go into walk mode, I would say, when we get up there. <laughs> Okay, walk mode. Right, very careful. Is it possible to jump on this though? Yeah, it is. Right, this thing, that must be the real safe. Yeah, it's got some bananas on it. I reckon that's the real safe. So we found it, but these plants are going to try and murder us. But we found it! We got there in the end! I'm cheering whilst I'm being attacked. <laughs> this was so much fun, Quag Quag. Thank you so much. This really was. I've had such a fun time trying to figure out your house. I can't even imagine the amount of time and effort has gone into this, honestly. It's just phenomenal. I am deeply impressed by your trap. Thank you so much. Okay, so next is Azalea Stone, Blackvine Villa. Nothing like a little fresh meat to honour Sithis with and round out a meal. Okay. Let's do this, how exciting. Alright, so we can look outside first. Oh no, look, yeah, there's like a 
trap here for this poor boar. He managed to escape it though. Luring him with oranges. <laughs> Where is he gone? He's hiding, he knows what's going on. Here he comes. No, poor boar. He's so innocent, look. Thinks he's, he's those yummy oranges, he's going for it. <laughs> no, he knows, he's running off. Okay. Look at the ceiling here, it's just beautiful. It's just like trees and I love the petals it almost looks like snow I know it's not snow <laughs> really pretty <laughs> I'm always on the lookout for rugs now I don't trust them anymore this uh, whole house tour's given me a rug phobia I think oh see what I mean I just walked on the rug I was literally just saying about my rug phobia. Stood on a rug. Yeah, lots of uh, poor creatures have fallen down here to their death. <laughs> oh, there's a way out. I don't know if there's supposed to be a way out, though. <laughs> okay. Alright, we will not walk on the rug this time. We've learnt our lesson. That dog is so cute. He needs to be careful or he's going to end up on the spikes. <laughs> that is so cool. I love all of these trees up there. They're beautiful. Really cool. Okay, let's go in. I love the path thing. Don't the houses all just feel so much more alive with all of these creatures running around? It's great. This is so funny. It's almost like there's a hunter here. You put a knife on the map. Like, yeah, where am I going to go and hunt all of these creatures? Wow, this is beautiful. This must be the shrine to Sithis. Really pretty. That's great, isn't it? Really beautiful. There's a poor guy in a cage there. He's lost his mind by the looks of things. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Beautiful. I love the use of the mirror as a placemat. That's very cool. I like that a lot. Oh no, look at all of these torture instruments and that poor, poor little Indrik in there. Oh no. Poor little Indrik. <laughs> I love this. The platform up here, the big round one. Really great up here, isn't it? Very nice. We've got a nice cosy bed. Sleeping above that poor Indrik. I half expected to have a, a trap up here where I fell down <laughs> into the injured cage. <laughs> Luckily that's not the case. I love the light shade, isn't that cool? That is really cool. I like that a lot. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, this house is beautiful and the traps are like so dark. <laughs> but that kind of makes it like really different different to the others so far like this is really really dark <laughs> like you can just think of all the poor horrible things this Indrix is going to go through and yet it's so dark but it's so beautiful at the same time I really love it it's really great like you kind of love it because it's so pretty but you also feel really uneasy because <laughs> you don't want these animals to get hurt great and that lampshade is really awesome I really like that a lot it's very cool Oh look, he looks like he's actually eating that, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, this is an awesome house. Really, really great job, I love this. It's very different to all of the others we've seen so far. Mm. 
really like it. I'm going to go and have a look inside this trap again. <laughs> These spikes, I don't know what they are, I can't figure it out, but they're great. They look really cool, like really rustic. <laughs> it's great. So thank you so, so much, uh, Azalea Stone. Sorry, I just got your name for a second. Thank you so much, Azalea Stone, for uh, letting me come and visit this beautiful, beautiful house. The trap is really cool, and I love how dark it is. It really adds a lot. <laughs> um, the contrast between how beautiful it is and the really dark undertones is amazing. I love it. Thank you very much. Okay, so we're on the last two houses now. Uh, this is number 16 uh, by Jemima. We're at the Hall of the Lunar Champion. She hasn't left a description, so we'll have to try and figure out what's going on here. I'm very excited. It's kind of exciting when there's no description in a way because uh, you don't really have no idea what to expect. So let's see what's going to be through here. Wow. Oh my god. That is incredible. Okay. I don't think we're supposed to go that way, so. I don't think. I don't want to miss anything, but yeah, I don't think we're supposed to go this side of the hedge. So we'll stay in the middle. That is a breathtaking view, isn't it? I like, the second you come out here, it's like, wow. That is brilliant statues, the trees, and then the building back there, and the pathway, the dragons even, like everything just looks perfect. That is phenomenal. I'm kind of speechless. I cannot wait to go and explore this place. The whole atmosphere. I think the time of day here right now as well is really helping with this. <laughs> it's like really hazy. It's not quite daytime yet, or it's becoming night one or the other it's yeah this is brilliant look at those <laughs> dragons are great up there as well okay so we want to be careful across here ah oh, this is wonderful i am already in love with it and i haven't even been in it yet <laughs> Rugs, oh my god, look at all the rugs, guys. <gasps> oh, I'm safe, I'm safe. <laughs> I didn't fall through the rugs. Look, it's like an actual castle. <gasps> the weapon rack here, this is, oh my god, I love this so much. There's some swords and bucket. The windows are incredible. I love them. These are like my favourite windows I've ever seen. <laughs> I love them so much. I love these windows. They are so awesome. This whole place. Look at it. Oh. I love this. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. Okay, we fell into some kind of dungeon. Oh my god, and there's a spider coming at us. God, is there a way out here? What if we stand on the spider? <laughs> I don't know how to get out. That spider's freaking me out. Look how close he is. And there's spikes all over the floor, which are very cool. People have died in here. I'm not surprised. I'm not dead, though. I'm alive. I feel like I probably should go back to the start. <laughs> Okay. Rugs are dangerous things in ESO, I'm telling you. <laughs> oh, look at that roof up there. I'm so in love with this house. Jemima, your house is beautiful. I don't actually know you, but uh, I'd love to see your other houses sometime if you've got others, because this is phenomenal. I'm scared to go over there and open that door because uh, I want to see though what's in here. 
There's a tomb in here. There's another door, but we're not going to go and have a look through that. Because <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to. I think it's like luring you there, like there's a door here. But actually, if you do try and go through the door, you just die. <gasps> oh my god. Look at this. This is incredible. Look at these cabinets. This entire little area here. Look, it's got like a little second level up there as well. And there's a little ladder to get up. Oh my god. Jemima, you're killing me. This is so cool. Oh my god. I love this so much. The windows again. Fabulous. I've never seen anything like this. This is like a proper castle, isn't it? A proper castle tower, this is. Really great view from here. This, this whole place of the Lunar Champion is so beautiful. It's a really nice view looking down there. There's another door here. This is the bedroom. And there's a rug, I'm scared. Right, <laughs> we're not going to walk on the rug just yet. Let's have a look around. The way these wardrobes are is great, how they follow the wall around. They look really cool, like that. Really nice bed. The curtains, like, look, she's made the whole top and sides of the curtains and then they've got these like nice window grates and then the curtains themselves like so much has gone into just that window beautiful something bad's gonna happen on this rug is it no the bedroom is safe that's kind of good actually you don't want to be falling through a trap every time you go to bed do you oh i love this so much jemima i love this house i do i'm in love with it This is so inspiring as well. I'm sure many people that watch this are going to want to feel castles. <laughs> oh, look at the dragons up here. So we're at the top of the castle. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. This is fabulous. Really is. I love the way you've made your roof up there as well. Looks absolutely great. I'm gonna have to go and stand in your trap again. <laughs> right, uh, let's see. Oh, I just love this room so much. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go and fall through the trap. You almost feel like certain death, but I actually haven't died. It's like I haven't died in a lot of the traps that I think I'm supposed to have. Yeah. Just gonna go and have one more little look outside, sorry. <laughs> I'm in love with this place. Yeah, it's just so, it's, it has such an impact, doesn't it? Thank you so, so much, Jemima. I'm just blown away, absolutely blown away by this house. It's incredible. Thank you so, so, so much. It's such a joy to visit this place. Okay, so we're at our final house by Wednesday morning, and this is uh, Cold Harbor Surreal Real Estate. So, let's see what's happening. I'm guessing we go down the back way. <laughs> I came in, I was like, wow, we are trapped. <laughs> yeah, I was looking in the wrong direction, sorry. <laughs> okay. Wow, this is great. Look at this. This is so dark. I love that. It's like got a very creepy vibe to it. It's, the view from here is fantastic. 
really really great let's see so we've got all of these like uh shards as islands am i going to die do we jump up those i guess let's have a look over here first oh i think we need to go at this branch don't we <laughs> don't fall don't fall don't fall don't fall okay we made it wow these people uh look like they <laughs> had a very bad day this guy do you know what the other person used this guy they used a different light though they used like a red one but even with this one like he looks very creepy <laughs> when he's got a light shining under him doesn't he there's something very eerie about that dude when he's all lit up wow this is so gorgeously creepy look at the hand coming out of the coffin that's amazing really great so we've got a graveyard over here i guess this is a graveyard okay let's go and have a look over here i'm so scared being in these houses i just know that i might die any minute <laughs> i'm just very wary of rugs okay wow what's this the way the sun's shining there it makes it look amazing as well doesn't it through the trees like that it's beautiful okay should we look over there first oh, i don't think we can oh there's like a bridge okay should we go that way first or can we go this way as well i don't think we can go that way there's just some islands up there they look great look at all these islands look up there <gasps> wow there's like a whole building up there with greenhouse and the gargoyle looks great there's like a basically a big giant floating castle over there that must have taken ages look at it it looks fantastic really 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 beautiful okay let's have a look this way Ooh, nearly fell down oh this is creepy I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> okay, what are we going to find in here? Let's go for it. Oh, wow. This is awesome. I've just been playing uh, The Witcher 3 when I was ill last week and I couldn't really play on my computer. And there's this tower there on an island. If you've played it, you might know what I mean. Um, and it's all like haunted. <laughs> this is, that's what this reminds me of so much. It's beautiful. I love how dark it is and how there's like, just this like little shimmer of red light underneath a few things. It's really beautiful, so atmospheric. And I love how it's destroyed. Like, look, everything's kind of gone off, broken fallen over <laughs> it's great it's really 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 cool like i just love the whole atmosphere here very creepy this is like a perfect halloween house isn't it oh dear there's a basement down there i'm a bit scared <laughs> do you know what when a house makes you feel actually scared you know they've done a great job with the atmosphere it's amazing everything's a little bit kind of gross in here gone off like the place has been abandoned for a long time been ransacked completely i'm saving the basement till last because i'm scared of it there's scared of rugs too though mind you <laughs> oh look there's stuff growing out of the bath that is amazing <laughs> i love it it's so creepy oh i love that oh hello <laughs> this is great i love it so much that whole what is that thing you there can you see that oh it's the uh it's the 
the dressing room things, the clockwork ones. But when you're standing here looking at it, they look like bathroom tiles, don't they? Amazing. Love it. Oh, very creepy bed here. There's a door on the floor. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be sleeping in that. <laughs> oh my god, that rat was eating that dead person in the bed. That is so creepy. Oh my word. Look at that. That is horrifying. <laughs> really great way wow this is fantastic the whole atmosphere here is just incredible like I actually feel nervous in this place and the sounds of cold harbor right now are helping <laughs> okay time to go into the basement I just noticed something there is a fork stuck in this man against the wall <laughs> and there's blood on the floor wow yeah he's had a very very bad day there's chicken on the floor everything is yeah just spilled okay we're gonna go into the basement i am genuinely scared okay let's do this <gasps> There's literally like a gateway to hell down here. <laughs> it's a very creepy furnace. <gasps> There's like bodies over there. Fuck. <gasps> and yeah, there is an actual gateway to hell. Are we supposed to go through the gateway to hell? Oh my word. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. This is fucking awesome. I am speechless. This is incredible. like I can't even express to you how much I love this <laughs> joke. look at these creepy things this is amazing I am so in love with this there's so much to see through here I could just stand here and stare through this gate all day and the path thing doesn't it bring everything to life so much Yeah, this is something else, isn't it? And all of these dead bodies down here are people that have just got completely stuck forever. Right there, I'm gonna go back to the start again. I wanna go in that trap again. <laughs> I wanna go in there again. Okay. Go through the gates of hell. Ready? Okay, so some people have fallen here and didn't fall much further down. Look. Yeah, this is wonderful. Wednesday morning, thank you so, so much for entering this contest and for sharing this amazing creation with us. Absolutely fantastic. So that is all of the houses and I'm going to have the hardest time ever judging this. I might have to get some people to help me and revisit some of my favourites. Um, I'll be going over them and maybe revisiting some of them. Um, 
today and maybe tomorrow as well. I'll announce the winners on um, Monday probably and then I get my ESA Plus renewal on Friday so I will probably send out prizes on Friday because it will just save buying more crowns. I might as well just wait because I'm getting some anyway on Friday. So yeah, I'll send the prizes out on Friday. So yeah, thank you so, so much for watching and thank you so much to everybody who entered. Um, your houses are all absolutely fantastic. I loved every single one of them and judging is going to be very, very difficult. So yeah, thank you ever so much. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great day. Goodbye.